Hey guys, it's the Funky Guy back to bring you another video. So today, um, I'm sorry I haven't made videos in a while. Uh, I'm gonna actually I, I reviewed the last videos the other night, and I you know I think that those videos could use some better work. So I'm gonna try and work on my quality of my videos. So today, um, this is how I have right now. Exact and I have a box and this table. I was doing paper mache on it earlier. Anyways, so today we got two packages. One is that one. Oops. So today we got two packages. One is this one and one is this one. And I've got them flipped over because I actually don't want you guys to see my address and name and all that. So let's open this one first. We'll open the best. We'll save the best one for last because I know what that one is. So let's go right on into this one. This one is a bag, which has a smaller bag, which is kind of weird. And this bag has a smaller bag. I'm just kidding. So today we have some pretty special funkies. We've got Mall. Get a better look at that. We got Mall. Seems to be in some decent shape. And we got Twinks. Oh, well, it's not. These, these two aren't really that special, but the other one is. Because the. Well, I'll give you a little. For those of you who don't know, uh, Maul was actually a series of Funky that was cancelled right at the last minute, and they decided to release the very rare version, and that's the only obtainable version. So, more on the uh, Give Funky's Wiki. I'll link that. I'll link that in the description. Um, but this is Twinks. I didn't previously have a Twinks before, so now I do. That's what's special about that one. And oh, I'll get it later. And this is a very rare Vlurp, which I already have, so it's a duplicate. And I plan to sell the duplicates that I have once I get my full collection complete. I plan to sell those on eBay, like the dupes, the dupes, except for the ones I've had since I was like, you know, the first Funkies. Anyways, on to the main main prize for today. I have to wrap this up quick because my camera is dying fast. So, I'll open it. Open it. Come on. That should be open enough. Yeah. Here we go. Full of shredded paper. You see? What? Oh my god. It's like in there. Oh lord, I'm gonna have to get the vacuum cleaner. Oh my goodness. Alright, so, as you can see, since this is full to the brim of bubble wrap, it's very important. Now if I just... Oh ho! If I just, ooh, if I just unwrap it, I gotta take the tape off the top here. I know this isn't part of the original packaging, because in the photo, it didn't show the original, original packaging. I don't know, maybe it did. But I know this isn't because it didn't come with bubble wrap on it. I do a lot, I did a lot of researching on Dot. And this is it. Oh my god. It's dot. This is number. Come on. This is number 410 of 2000. It was a San Diego Comic Con exclusive. Um, I'm not going to give a gameplay review on this one because obviously it's limited edition. I'm not taking it out of the pack. But, um, yeah. It's limited edition, only 2000 were made. Uh, there were plans to release a uh, a rare or very rare, one of the two other different colors of it, in a bundle pack. But there it is. Dot in all of its glory. So if we read the back here, so if you read the side, it says Funkies, but if you read the back, it just says, it's just a description about Dot. Alright, alright. 
right, sorry about that. Um, yeah, it turns out that, um, okay, okay, I, I have to catch you up a little bit. Um, I actually got, I, I opened this dot, the footage you, got, you like last saw, you just saw right now, is from like a couple weeks ago. Um, a lot has happened since then. Um, so I unboxed the dot, my camera died, and I went to recharge it and kind of forgot about the video. Sorry, sorry about that, but... After that, I went to go get some oral surgery. Well, I forgot about it for a day, but then I got my wisdom teeth taken out. Then I had a lot of things to do. Uh, well, also, I went to Hobby Lobby and built a stand. It's actually some weird candle holder thing. Hold on, I'm gonna move this to the side real quick. It's actually some weird candle holder thing, and then I got some sticky moss, put it on there. Cause like, it's a ladybug, you know, it's in the grass, man. It also has a I don't want to grab it because I just got done polishing it. It also comes with a dome, but I'm grabbing it with my shirt. I polished the dome. Anyways, so my camera died. Uh, went went to charge it. Kind of forgot about it for a day. Went or I didn't do it, like a couple days. Went to do world surgery. Or wait, first went to go build this. Then went to go do oral surgery. And yes, I live in an apartment. Those are people walking upstairs. I'll soon live in a house where that won't happen. But um, so what I was saying by things came up, or stuff, things happened, um, that's what I mean. And also the reason that there is scotch tape holding this dot right there is because, actually, the original listing, I'll show it right now, uh, did not have, uh, it, it didn't show, the, when the, pic the pictures on the original listing didn't show the bag around it, so actually they opened the bag, and that's why when I opened it, you saw the recycle logo on the front. So yeah, there's that. So this 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 dot, it was open. Uh, the bag was open, not not the dot itself. Cause so the dot itself still has the original tape on the plastic box. I just put the scotch tape on there. I'm, I plan to put invisible tape on there later to make it look better. But the scotch the scotch tape is to hold it to make it look like the bottom does. You know, like a, a nice hourglass. Like it's folded like the bag is folded like an hourglass. Like that. See? But I'm going to take it out of, the uh, out of the bag just to show you that it is, in fact, still sealed. Gotta carefully do this. See? Okay, so you can see there's no seams, no cuts on the tape. So it is still, in fact, not been opened, it's just the bag has been removed, and that's why you saw this uh, recycle symbol on the front, and that's why there was scotch tape. So, yeah, anyways, um, I would leave it out of the packaging though, because like, or out of not out of the packaging, but out of the box, out of the bag, not the box. I would never open the box, not unless I got a second dot, but I should, I, I should leave like part of me feels like it wants to leave the dot out of the bag, but. Like, just because it looks better. It looks, like, like clear. Like, the bag isn't as clear as the box. It looks really good in the, like, out of the bag. But, I would take protection over looks. So, we gotta protect it. This is a very rare funky. Now, I have heard rumors about there being... Tejo. So recently, I've heard that Tejo uh, is there's only like three no or not even three. I don't know. At least one known person who has a real working Tejo funky. Uh, I've just heard rumors. I haven't heard like I'm not sure if that's actually true or not. But somebody apparently, uh, from what I've heard, has an actual working Tejo funky. Now, oops. Sorry. Now, if you're not sure, take uh, or like if you're not aware. Uh, Tejo was actually a Speed Racer Funky who was never actually released. So, well, that we knew, that we thought, but we, I, I don't know, I've heard that somebody actually did find a Tejo. That's, that's just crazy. If I can get a Tejo, that'd be cool. But if, if the rumors are true, then that's the rarest Funky in existence. But if not, then this right here is your rarest Funky in existence. The Dot, San Diego Comic Con exclusive, 2008. And funny thing, actually, um, I got this one for 30, bu uh, 30 bucks. 
I got this one for 30 bucks. So, yeah, they, they, they typically go for like 300, 400 on eBay. But me, I, 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 I saw a really good deal. And I went for it. Really good on my part. But yeah, that's uh, that's the rarest funky in existence. This is the rarest funky that we, the, the rarest known funky. Because as I said, Tejo, you know. And I'm glad to have it in my possession. I hope to one day be able to get one out of the box too. My next mission, Argo's Hub. Look it up. Argo's UB Funky's Hub is the most greatest looking hub you'll ever see. But let me know in the comments, should I actually just display it in the back or? Cause like, it's already gonna be, oh, let me show you. The glass that I put it in is already a dome, so. I don't know, should I, just comment, should I just take it out of the bag? Like leave the bag in my closet, like on the shelf where it won't get damaged and just like, or and like keep its form and stuff and like all that and just like leave the dot out of the bag and in the like the thing cause I don't know, I'm starting to think about that cause it just looks a lot better. Cause like nothing is really on the bag other than this recycle symbol. So, but yeah, there's Dot. Another funky review by the funky guy. So, put that right the back. Got it. I'm gonna try and get a better setup at some point, but for now, this. Okay, all right is all I got. There we go. See, it's already in this. Look at that, it's just beautiful. That is, that is truly a great funky.